Hi, this video is going to cover how to integrate Microsoft Teams with Fodia PBX. It's a complete guide from how to install the PBX to making calls between the PBX and Teams. You can skip through the video using the timestamps in the video description. We're using DigitalOcean for the convenience. The domain has already been purchased and pointed to DigitalOcean. Now let's create an Ubuntu droplet, however, any other Linux distributions would work just fine. Once the server has been created, we need to link its IP to our domain name. This is important since an FQDN, a fully qualified domain name, is required for Teams. Vodia PBX is a multi-tenant platform, so let's also create a PBX domain name we'll use in the PBX. Installing Vodia PBX is really easy. Just SSH into the server, go to our doc page, Linux installations, and copy and paste those three lines. All right, let's access our PBX for the first time. There's no password by default, and the username is admin. Read the license agreement. Vodia has provided a free demo license that's at our website, vodia.com. Simply copy and paste that, and then refresh the page to confirm that it's registered. Let's set up an admin password. Go to Settings, Security, and General, and then under Admin Login, set your password and hit Enter. Now we'll create a new domain. Go to Domains and List. The primary name should match the name of the A record. This is needed for the certificate to be created. Go ahead and adjust the country code and hit save. Check the certificate. This is important. Without the certificate, users can't make calls in Teams. These are Microsoft mandatory security requirements. Now we'll add some extensions. So go to the domain by pressing the domain name, go to Accounts, Extensions, press the Add button, Create Users. There's an option to do this in bulk as well. And now we'll set the extensions to work with Teams. This is another important step. So set the extension feature set to Teams. This is a must for extensions using Teams, but doesn't stop users from using Vodi apps if they choose to. Let's do this for all the extensions that we want to add to or have in Teams. And now we're going to add SIP trunks. So go to Trunks, SIP trunks, hit Add, and we'll be adding two trunks, the Teams trunk and a regular trunk.
Moving on to the Office 365 setup. This setup might look a little bit different if you already have an existing account. Microsoft's 365 setup is pretty self-explanatory. Add a domain name, in our case it's vodiatutorial.fun. Set DNS records to what setup tells you to prove ownership of the domain being added. As with most DNS, it's common that those changes might take some time to appear. So don't panic if it doesn't happen instantly. We're going to set TXT, but you can also do MX if you wish. Now we'll create Office 365 users. Add the same users we created in our PBX domain to Office 365. Since we already have licenses in our account, it will automatically add to newly created accounts. Passwords can be added now or later. We also clicked Microsoft Teams and Skype for Business option but it's optional. Let's follow the instructions and set our MX records, our CNAME records, and our TXT records. Make sure time to live TTL is set accordingly and make sure all the info is correct otherwise it might take one hour or whatever value of TTL is set before the record will be updated. Press continue, wait to get the records validated. In some cases it might take some time. For us it took 15 to 20 minutes for MX record to get updated. Now we'll connect to Office 365. We'll be using a Windows VM to complete this task, but if you're a Windows user, you already have all the necessary tools. Open a web browser of your choice and navigate to https colon slash slash doc.vodia.com. On the left-hand side navigation, select Integrations, then Microsoft Teams. Now let's find PowerShell. Run it as an admin, that's important, otherwise you might get some permission issues. Make sure to download Skype for Business Online Connector module by clicking the link. We already downloaded it, so we're going to skip that. Just follow Microsoft documentation for the next four commands. Now I'll create a PSTN gateway. Back to doc.vodia.com. Make sure it's the right one and connected to the right account as you did in step three. To confirm that step three was done correctly, create a PSTN gateway for the domain we created in Vodia PBX domain page, pbx.vodiatutorial.fun. Make sure we replace the placeholders before executing this command. Let's check gateway parameters one more time.
Enable the user for direct routing. Copy and paste the command and same as before, make sure to replace the placeholders. Due to high demand, sometimes it might take some time for the users to appear in Office 365. We're not going to check all the users for the sake of keeping this video shorter, and we'll move on to the next step. Now enable users for direct routing services by configuring the phone number and enabling enterprise voice and voicemail for the user. It's more convenient to use email in our case because we use initials and have to change two letters and a number to set new user rather than typing in a name. For larger groups, it's also possible to run a script against the CSV file rather than doing it one by one manually. Emails are the ones that we assign during the user creation step. Make sure extension numbers match the ones from the PBX as well. Create a PSTN usage. Check if it's available. Create the route using Vodia PSTN Gateway and the above usage. Make sure to replace placeholders and usage name if you didn't use one from the doc page. Create a PSTN usage. Check if it's available. Create a voice policy using the same usage to which our PSTN gateway is linked above. Copy and paste the line from the doc page and make changes if you didn't use example names. Let's grant our users our voice policy. Copy and paste the command and make changes to the placeholders. You can also check policy assignment with the last command. That was the last step. Close the PowerShell, create passwords for the users to run a test call between Vodia and Teams. Open the Teams app. Log in. Open the Vodi app. Log in. Clearly our app is so much faster. Make a call to an extension registered with Teams. 
you can see a pop-up in the top right corner. Hang up the call and let's test it the other way. The Vodia app rings too. Done. Thank you for watching. Subscribe to our channel. We have many more videos coming soon. And you can contact us at sales at Thank you.